All right, here we are working on this 1960 Starliner. We call Christine. We're almost ready to take it for its first drive here. So I just got done doing the brakes. Um, gas lines are patched up. And I'm going to put some gas in it. And what we need to do is uh, make sure that it, first of all, stays running. And that it doesn't have any leaks in either the brake lines or the gas lines. Uh, and then after that, we can drop it down off the jack stands and maybe try driving it for its first drive. Yeah. So, check it out. All right, there's where we repaired the brake line, going up and over the frame there, back to the next tie-in point. So we'll have to make sure it doesn't leak. So far, it's not leaking. Um, bled the rear brake lines. Front ones we'll have to do still. Couldn't get at them because of how the rear is up in the air on the jack stands, which then makes the front a little bit lower and the bleed screws are in front of the axle so really hard to get at uh, we also repaired a gas line right there just temporary patch but that fixes the spot that we accidentally cut when we were cutting and grinding on the rust so good enough to see if it works here um, new gas tank is in back there Tanner put that in. Thanks, Tanner. At Tanner Rebuilds. Um, if this does run smooth and everything, we will wait until Tanner's around before we actually try taking it for a drive. But I want to see if we have any leaks first, because if we do, then I can be working on that. Okay, there's where we fill up the gas. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Okay. It's about three quarters of the tank of this can. Three quarters of the can. I smell it from the car. Yeah. Yeah. I thought there was going to be a nice tire on it. Mm. Now we could try starting it. Okay. A couple days ago, we got the carpet in. Tanner and I spent two days gluing it in place. And then while I was at work, Tanner got this front seat in. He had the rear seat in before that. Yeah. Okay. We're going to try starting this thing. See what happens. Okay. We just filled this thing with some gas. We're going to try starting it and see if the gas lines leak. Yeah, 
put some gas in the vibrator to drain it. Add some gas to the carburetor because it's got a long way to suck the gas from the gas tank. Did you honk the horn? Yep. Well, now we know it worked. Yeah. Try it again.
Okay, so yeah, wetness coming from the cap and I turned it a quarter turn, so if we're lucky, that's where our leak was coming from. So we have to let it all dry up and then tomorrow we'll check the coolant. I ain't opening that hot. <laughs> so we'll have to check the coolant tomorrow, add some if we leaked a little too much and try it all over again. Okay, oil does not look like it's mixed with coolant yet. Nothing crazy, no milkiness, so that's looking good. Not really seeing any crazy smoking. Shut this thing off about two minutes ago here, so the engine's still very hot. Yeah. I am liking what I'm seeing so far. Except for that smoke out of the tailpipes.